We are live in Ottawa for the PTZ shoot around presented by Anwa and Convergen, their integrator. And today we're looking at the live comparison between their 55X 2 megapixel and their 4K PTZ. Looking at beautiful Ottawa right there. The event is live, so we need to go back in. We will do an interview with Anwa. So if you missed your chance to be here, don't worry, we got you covered. So we'll go back in and you'll get all the secrets. Dominic, thank you for inviting us today. Thank you for coming. And it was a great turnout. And whose idea was this to do a live demo with two different PTZ live in Ottawa today? Well, we were storming about applications and uh, application for PTZ specifically with uh, Scott from Convergent. And um, he likes a lot the 55X 2 megapixel. He says, we have a 4K 31X. We should at one point compare it. He says, well, why don't we do an event? Why not? <laughs> so that's how it started about a month and a half ago. Uh, we put a list of uh, people that we wanted to invite. A lot of people from government, uh, uh, police from the police or uh, city people and stuff like that around the Ottawa Gatineau area. And we had a, like 25 people attending. Yeah, so it, it was, was very good. It was very good. And like you said, I think it was mostly focused on the end users and the different applications. Exactly, effect. exactly. And also by seeing, I, I like the fact it was maybe two teams. It's like, are you a two megapixel kind of guy or a exactly. 4K kind of guy? But at the end of the day, what we understand is it differs from the application. One, exactly. fix a problem. I like the picture on the parliament that we saw live. So you had one really nice focus. The other one, just a big, nice zoom on it. So yep. No, it was great. It was great to show the two cameras raw from the box. Like we just unboxed them, put an IP address, made sure they had the latest firmware, and that was it. So what we saw is what the people will saw when they get the cameras. And people were asking features, hey, can you take the off double DR? Yes, let's take it off and see what it does. So, and also we were able to do night shots yesterday from the hotel across the street. So the videos that we saw from yesterday of the parliament, we were at 1.15 kilometers away of that clock, and we were still able to get a great image. Yeah, with, with color also. It, with color. <laughs> considering the we were in press. We were in press. Even ourselves, we were in press. So two type of different cameras, two different applications. If it's not too much to ask, do you have any specific case studies you can share with us where these cameras come into play? Well, anywhere that you have big areas to cover, like airports, uh, CD surveillance, um, mining, big areas like that, border security, police stations. They're all users of these types of, app, of, of cameras, of PTZs. They're able to see as good as night and as during the day, be able to zoom as far or be able to follow just either a vehicle or a person that's walking around the premises. And I believe also with the AI, you're able to kind of cover a wide area of things with, for example, you showcased earlier the person detection where you're able to see how many people? Up to 256 people or vehicle at the same time. So when you're looking at a crowd, you will see, it will understand that there's a lot of people and we'll be able to react uh, for, for that features, right? So. And not only that, but the two megapixel, again, this is more about the zoom of the camera, the optical yep. zoom, but about the AI. So if you go more into deep about what can it do for this camera? Yeah, so our, all the latest PTZ that we have, mobile camera, they do, they do have all AI inside the camera. So the camera will be able to recognize people and recognize videos inside the views. So when you want to do tracking, you'd be now say, okay, I want to track people or I want to track only vehicle coming out of premises. So whenever, let's say a fixed camera with an elastic of the line crossing detects a vehicle, a truck or a car, to be specific, it will tell the PTZ, hey, there's a car that came in, go look at that car and then follow. And so while the security guard is uh, attending some other needs, the PTZ is looking at all the vehicles that's going around the premises. And all of that, you can set it up through the web viewer, I think. Yeah, that... everything through the web page. Very easy, a couple of clicks, apply. That is it, the AI is activated. And also, I also saw with the AI of this specific camera, the zoom 
uh, the autofocus, if I can say. So uh, can you go more in detail? Because I didn't see much cameras doing exactly this. So kind of pointing towards, uh, uh, let's say the tower over here and the camera just zooms in, no, no time wasted. Yeah, well, all the TTZ that we have, they all have presets that you can pre-program. So when you have certain areas that is very critical, you can select all these areas and uh, program the preset. When the preset is programmed, the camera, when it changes from one area to the other, will automatically very fast adjust the focus and make it a clear image right away. So as soon as you're going from one preset to another, it takes milliseconds and your camera is focused. So I guess when you're monitoring a big scene with multiple screens, that's where it comes in handy. Yep, yep. And with all these presets, you can create guard tool. So that's another nice feature. So instead of the guard always moving the camera around, you say, okay, go from this area, go to that critical point, and then go to that critical point. And when you're done, go back and start all over again. So if you don't touch the, the, the joystick or the mouse, it will keep going around into that tour and seeing all these important uh, areas of your premise. So it, it's really an intelligent camera. It is. Doing it is. the work by itself. Yes. Guys, the PTZ shoot around event is done. It's starting to rain over my head, but we're still here. We're traveling across North America to different security events to show you different technologies, different features. So if you hear about a certain event and you cannot be there, well, leave us a comment below. Tell us more about this event. Subscribe to our channel. So this way, well, it's like you're participating. We will show you exactly what you missed and you'll get all the information. Now it's raining really hard, so we'll see you in the next one.